So then we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant from the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation is from the original manuscripts of the prophets of old, the prophets of Israel, given as them bearings on how we should act and maintain ourselves regarding the Holy Scriptures. From the viewpoint then Israel at the moment is disobedient and then the scandalized scripture never helped our nation. So then we take a stand from what it is. From the Hebraic or Aramaic translation, then we read what the Messiah said. Not what anybody else said or neither a country that is in disobedience. We hear what the prophet said. So then understanding from his viewpoint, he was speaking always of the Torah and directing the people to it. In other words, he was then flushing away the junk from their minds and pointing them to think properly. So then what the Messiah was involved in teaching the people was then the people themselves, they would be the measuring stick. Not that they are equal with the Torah, that's not the point. But because of the instructions of the Messiah for the second tabernacle services, then the people would be a measuring person in the Messiah, pointing the people to the instructions, however, knowing precisely what the Messiah told them to do. So the people then became extremely more important than Israel is disobedient. Because the Messiah said because they did not obey what he told them to do, they would not enter the kingdom and then they would prevent others from entering. So how do we make a stand knowing that a nation, that it were then to be a nation going around the world forming holy cities and they do precisely the contrary? How do you then lay the line? You know, the Messiah was very specific. Don't gather around those who are scoundrels. It's plain and simple. If you want to be obedient and using the Messiah as the measuring stick, not anybody else. The Messiah is the person. Sometimes when the people they hear his holy words, they tend to make the person, the speaker, as the measuring stick. The person is speaking is not a measuring stick, but the Messiah is the measuring stick, so to speak. Because humans, they fell. At times they fell. But the Messiah never did. So when we learn from the Messiah, we become then the reference point. And the Messiah said very precisely, don't be mixing yourself with those who do not want to be obedient. Much more so if you know that these people around you then they are against you and they are making plots, schemes. Sometimes in certain circles it, it's not very easy because a person has to kind of a dance as the music play. But then you let yourself go until a certain extent. Our nation, unfortunately, was deceived. What we understand of religion in our country, even from the time of the forefathers, it was a lie. It was a pure damn lie. Never worked. The only time religion truly worked was during the time of Jackson. It worked because he was mostly doing trade than religion itself. But then you have a tradition of believing a God that doesn't exist. They make their own works as their God. Try to understand. Nobody's questioning that the people are nice. That's not the point. The point is using their nicety as religion and means of manipulation. That's why the Messiah confronted then the people of the law and he laid the line as it was.
the previous government was making a plot, it was a scheme. You know what they were thinking? Oh, we kind of know what they were thinking. But they smile around and say, oh God. And they say, oh, we should have a family, and blah, blah, blah. And then they were scheming against the president. You know what they were thinking? They were piling up so much debt in the previous government. And then they were making the prices of gasoline very low. Then they were piling up more debt. And then the nation's debt. And say, oh, let's try to hire a black person. Is that from God? Now, that, let's replay the, the whole works. <laughs> there it is, the previous government not paying their dues, economy in trouble, but they were then making the gasoline prices very low, manipulating the economy, not paying the dues. And then, well, let's hire a black person, then put person in charge for a term only, then he pays the debts, then we blame him for paying the debts, and then plunging the economy down. Is that being godly? Damn scoundrels. That's what they are. What kind of a god can do these being evil towards other people? Is that how you then treat your worker at work? You know, when the people, they speak of their God, the person can nearly vomit and puke. Because they are damn scoundrels. That's what they are. Scheming around, lying, cheating, murdering. And then they come around, oh, I should have a family. Oh, because I have to be responsible. And then you plot evil against people. And the black people caught. They know the scheme. And they go and vote for Obama. What they thought would be a, only eight terms is going to be two terms. Only because of their false god. God, God, God. What kind of a god? A god that manipulates the economy, puts the blame on other people. And then you go to those establishments acting pious. Putrefied pious. As the Messiah said, you are nicely outside, but inside of you is putrefied. What about Israel? Is that where they get their measuring stick from? Making schemes? Murdering people with words? You can't trust Israel. Israel is disobedient. Though we understand the plan of Yahweh in providing the time of restoration, are they going to be obedient? No. Read the 11th chapter of Revelation. They were against for so long of the state of Palestinians. That's precisely what's coming. A bit of research of the true scripture can enlighten a person so much. And then those who are disobedient, such as the Hebraic people, even those who are saved in the Messiah, 
We can encourage them to cluster. Because these were the orders of the Mashiach and anybody else. If you have a problem, talk to the Mashiach. We only do what he said to do. So then when we have some time, grab the word in Aramaic, begin to read. A page a day. And treasure it. Because there are many people speaking of God, speaking of themselves, their family, their achievements, and from behind, they are absolutely devils. A hundred percent devils. Is that being truly godly? Godly. 